told me anything. You always say that and you're always lying. Where is she, Victoria? I don't know. I need to clarify with you again where you last saw Amy. Well, we just gave you our statements. Yep, yeah, there's been something of a development, I'm afraid. We just had a report of a missing child. Well, what's that got to do with anything? A boy named Kyle Winchester was abducted from nursery. His guardian believes it was Amy who took him. Oh, I've got 12 missed calls off Val. You should chuck it. We'll do that pingy thingy, won't they? I grabbed some of the twins' toys from Bob's loft, Amy. Thanks, Mum. Do us a favour. Hey! Text Dan. Just say I got his message. Hey! Tell him to calm down. See, I borrowed Hedy and everything's fine. No. But you didn't tell him? I've been a bit busy. What if he's reported stolen? Well, he won't if you get a wriggle on and text him. They could stop us any minute, you know. Look, let's not panic till we need to. But who am I trying to keep on? Johnny's probably already called them. Well, we knew that. Look, you've got your plan. We just need to outrun them, right? Right? Luckily for you, you're with one of the best runners away in the business. Yes, no, I understand. Anybody want a refill? It's just yeah, not It's just not really fair, is it? He's, uh, he's meant to be a really good solicitor. Right. OK, yeah, 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 I understand. Is he recommended, or...? Yeah, by the guy who's doing Laurel's divorce. <laughs> that before or after he bled her dry? Apparently mine. Mine had a new wing built on his house after I reached settlement with my ex. We only just got engaged. Let's the divorce talk, please. Well, he's done. <laughs> well, he's, he's clarified a few things, but he wants to see me in person. OK. So, have you made an appointment? He's coming round. Today? Why does he want to do that? No reason. Well, there must be. He just wants to talk through my options. He thinks it's more than likely I'll get a uh, custodial sentence. It's probably just wandered off somewhere and she's blaming Amy. Kids don't just walk out of nursery and Amy wouldn't steal for nothing. Well, you don't know she took that stuff for sure. So who did? I don't know, but it wasn't her. Ring her. She might answer to you. Have you seen her recently then? Cos no-one else has. Yeah, well, I saw her this morning. She was fine. I gave her my car keys so she could move her stuff in. No prizes for guessing what the getaway car is then? Well, the car's still parked on the back. Has been all day. She hasn't used it. Why are you being so down on her? Because she's talked about doing this, you know she has. Yeah, when she was upset about what Joni did, she's better now, she's happy. No answer. Right, come with me and we'll go talk to Val. I'm due back at the farm. Andy! Oh, fine. But Victoria, I'm not defending you when she kicks off because you doubted her. If I wait till I'm older, I'll be too old. It's Little Miss Yorkshire, not ancient grown-up Yorkshire woman. I'd pay you back out of my winnings. It wouldn't cost you anything. I've said no. Stop pestering. Are you on a later shift today? Yeah. Can we go into town and look at some dresses? If you ask again, I want to take you back to the dentist. For my talent, I think I might do another rap for Jesus or do my street dance to One Direction. No, means no, Amelia. But, Mum, God wants me to do it. If you don't let me do it, God will be really mad at you. God wants you to be a good little girl and not cheeky mum. Sweetheart, what if we gave you half the entry fee? And if you can earn the other half by doing some odd jobs, your mum might let you go. Can I? Yeah, I don't know. I suppose. Um, you can start by clearing that table. How oh, she could earn 50 quid on her own? Exactly. Oh, you're good, you. <laughs> no, I hope you're not signing that. Just don't sign everything. it yet. You haven't checked anything. Babe, I haven't said anything back That's green. Worry. That's green. That's <laughs> Honk that all you like, love, but it won't get this done any quicker. Someone's feeling flush, aren't they? Reverse. We'll go around the other way. How much is this load of tack costing me, then? Well, it's my money, Declan, so I'll spend it how I want, thanks. Just reverse. Let's not do this again. Please. I told the police that Johnny was a heavy drinker and not to be trusted. I don't think they bought it, though. The restraining order doesn't help either. Oh, well, I don't care how it looks. She's not taking him. She's smarter than that. Did she say anything about going away? Starting afresh somewhere? 
All we spoke about is a moving into mine. She's not going anywhere. I know you're not the full picnic pet, but do you see her outside right now shifting boxes? No, but... She's not here and she's not at yours and the child she loves more than life itself has vanished. Work with me here, Andy. I, I suppose it does add up. She must have said something that can help us. Well, I don't know anything. If she did, she said it really well. Then think harder. <sighs> Go on. The other day, after Johnny came to see Diane and Amy missed her, she joked about us running away. And you think to mention this now? Did she say where? No. But then last night, after the pub, her and Kerry were thick as thieves. Maybe she knows something. Oh, I should have known that she'd be in on it. Right. You go back to your place, check your bins, computer, anything and everything to indicate where she might have headed to. You go with him, I'll do the same here. Go on. Leave Kerry to me. It's their job to give you the worst case scenario. Yeah, it's better than telling you it's going to be fine when it won't be. I mean, it will be fine, obviously. Well, you weren't. Well, I didn't go to jail. He punched a copper! You didn't actually do anything! I did plenty. No, what I mean is you were provoked, though, under massive amounts of stress. And um, Paddy was provoked. He doesn't go around just punching people. I think we should take a second here and remember how all of this started. No, I think we should just talk about something She else. did a good Sorry. turn for a friend who needed a lift to the chemist and every day, Rona, I wish she hadn't. <laughs> My God, you're not seriously suggesting this is Rona's fault. What are you... She needed drugs and love too, cos she wouldn't have been there otherwise. Oh, hey, we've both got kids. We're always at the chemist's. It could have happened anywhere. No, he's right. I should never have let you take me. No, 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 don't listen to him. How can you possibly have known something bad was going to happen? I really am sorry. She's just getting better and you do this. I think we should go. No, don't! Look, I don't blame you. I just blame myself. He obviously does. Thanks. For lunch. Look, she drops in the text and all I know is that she took the van. All right, which is never a good idea, but look, she's not stupid enough to run off with a child. She is stupid enough. Ring her. <sighs> look, I need to get back to work. If she helps Amy take this kid, she is going to be banged up for God knows how long. And much as I would love to see that, I'm guessing that you wouldn't. Oi, can you get a move on? We've got a call out. Just now. All right. Look, I've got a valve around here screaming blue murder about you and Amy wanting to see Kyle. What? Look, Amy knows she can't go anywhere near him. Uh, listen, I nabbed Bob's cash and carry card. I thought I'd stock up on frozen pizza. Do you want us to uh, get that Hawaiian tropical again? Is, uh, is Amy there? Yeah, she says I just thought I'd bring her out to pick her up, OK? <laughs> Hello, Kerry. It's me. Don't hang up. I know, I know that we've never seen eye to eye, but I'm begging you. Will you put Amy on the phone right now? Do you hear me right now? It's Val. You don't have to. Amy, Amy, I know that you love him and I know that you want him. But this isn't the way you're going to be in such trouble. You have to bring him back now. How can I, man? They'll just take him away again. No, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll work something out. There's nothing to work out. I'm sorry. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Val. Bye. Amy! Docs. Now, I found details on her search history, and fairy time is over to Wyatt. Oh, she's got him. I heard his voice. She's not going to bring him back. Did I hear all that right? Yeah, my girlfriend's kidnapped your son and she's taken him to Ireland. We have to get to her before the police do. She makes to the docks and we crawl in with them. Yeah, well, we've got to get there before they do. It's me again. Please, just turn around and come back. It's not worth getting nicked over, is it, eh? Have you seen Val? She was looking for Kerry, but her car's gone. Yeah, she uh, shut off with Eric. I, I take it you've heard about Amy. No, where have they gone? The docks. They think Kerry's taken her to Ireland with Kyle. What, are you new about this? I know less than you, mate. Well, we're going to have to go. In what? Diane's car? We've got no time. You stay in case Amy comes back. Kane, you have to take us in yours. Well, no way. Well, it's faster. And it is your kid. 
It was my mistake, never my kid. She wouldn't even be in this state if it wasn't for you. She made her own decision. Stuff just got real right. My best mate has nicked a kid and gone on the flaming run. You've ruined her life once, don't you dare do it again. Her life has nothing to do with me. You don't care about Amy, we get that. But Kyle's yours, you're his dad. And right now he needs his dad to step up and do the right thing. Or at least take us there so I can. The worker has returned. Ta -da! Thanks, Andy. Have you been up to, darling? Swept the path, took the rubbish out, and brushed all the pink out of Tootsie's fur. So how much did you get for that little lot? 20p. Not exactly rolling in it, are we? Nah, don't be silly. Thank you for helping out, love. Oi, change your face. It all adds up. I felt terrible about it at the time. So I don't mind Marlon calling me on it. No. No, you, you lied about why you needed the chemist. That's the only thing you've done wrong. Paddy, I told her to take me to that one. Because none of the closer ones would serve me. So you went further afield. It doesn't, it doesn't make you responsible. Look, everyone makes mistakes. I just don't think it's right to get raked up every time something goes wrong. I made some pretty big ones, though. Yeah. Yeah, you did. And now you're putting them all right again. We both are. Come here. I'm going to get another coffee. Do you want one? Oh. Oh, all he needs now is a little fake moustache and you blend right in. Are you still thinking about what Val said? I guess so. Well, don't. Listen to your gut. What's that telling you? That you need to work on your clutch control. <laughs> well, I got you here, didn't I? Thank you. Don't think I would have made it without you. Right, I should get going. Right, I'll look after him while you go and get the tickets. I don't know. They'll be on the lookout for a young lass with a kid. You need to do as much as you can on your own, Amy. We're on the clock. Yes? She had to make a point of it, didn't she? I mean, you couldn't have found a bigger van. She didn't even know you were going to be there. Now, oh, come on. Projected turnover for year three. I know it's not as riveting as Katie playing houses, but I'm sure the bank will be fascinated. Look, one phone call, and then I'm all yours, all right? Start talking. We don't know anything. Try next door. It's closed. No doubt Val's off somewhere with my grandson. She didn't even know he was missing. She's going crazy trying to find him. Uh, and where is she looking, exactly? The further she goes, the more trouble she'll be in. She's trying to leave the country, isn't she? None of it was even expensive. None of his business, even if it was. Was I mad buying this place? Oh, don't start getting cold feet now. I've just broken a nail doing them. <sighs> Thanks, babe. I just know Declan's not going to let it go, is he? Every time something good happens, he's going to find a way of sticking the knife in. Yeah, you're right. You should resign yourself to a life of misery now, just in case. You know what I mean. Well, no, you deserve every single penny that he gave you for putting up with him for as long as you did. You know what? He can snipe all he wants, but it won't change anything, will it? I guess not. Do you think he'll pop up and have a whinge if we open this? Well, I'm willing to risk it if you are. From Diane. So, here is two lots and lots of good things to come. And here is to shoving... <laughs> Cheers, babe. There won't be a great deal to argue. Yeah. You and Ross's statements are in agreement. Thanks. You'd explain about him attacking her, though. I mean, the court would have to take that into account. No, I, I wouldn't be allowed to go into that kind of detail or allude to any of Ross's past actions in court. But how is that possible? I mean, I did what I did because of his past actions. You admitted to taking a weapon to his house and threatening him with it. Well, that's all this case is really about now. But it's just not fair to... 
talk about one and not the other. I know it's upsetting, but it's not about what really happened. It's about what they can prove happened. And unfortunately, well, you're coming off as the bad guy on that score. <sighs> I'm the bad guy. What? So, I mean, what kind of sentence could she be looking at? For aggravated assault, anything up to three years. Mum. What? Take it back. Look what you need, don't you? Not a nicked one on top of everything else. Well, how do you know it's nicked? All right, fine. Be the only one with a kid and no stuff. You won't stand out at all. No, don't. You're right, I do need one. Thank you. Got your tickets. All set. Didn't even flinch when I showed them the ID. So far, so good. Be boarding soon. You have reached your destination. No, we haven't. This isn't it. Why has it brought us here? I must have put in the wrong postcode. No, no, no! Well, you are hassling me! We'll have to go back to the ring road, find it the old fashioned way. No, it's miles back, we're gonna mess up! Well, we might already! Please tell me this isn't happening, Eric. Please tell me she's not doing this. She can't turn her back on us. Well, it is happening. I told you, it was too much too soon. But what do I know? This is stealing. This is kidnapping the four on the register. She doesn't deserve it, Eric. Oh, no, we're never going to see it again, are Well, we? if you don't pull yourself together and help me find Junction 38, no, we won't. Now, pull yourself together. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, we could just stay here, you know. Uh, no, we're supposed to be warming up your new pad, so that's kind of defeating the object. Yeah, but we've got a bit of crisps. Yeah, we've got Chris here full stop. You know what? You need to brush up on your whole setting skills. Should we put some of them? Oh. Hey! Oh, dear. Somebody doesn't look very happy. What is it? Man trouble? Do you want me to get you something stronger? No, it isn't a man thing. It's an Amy thing. Ma, what's she done there? A runner with Kyle. Are you joking? Nope. I'm really not. Why has she done that? Cos she couldn't handle not seeing him, I guess. But I thought his grandma was letting her. She cut all contact. Amy obviously can't take no for an answer. So she's going to try and take him permanently? But she didn't tell me anything. Could have helped if I knew what she was going to do. She probably didn't want you getting in trouble, Victoria. Well, I've dropped her right in it now. Well, no, it sounds like she's managed to do that all on her own. Diane made me tell Joni where she was going. Well, I guess this is it. You can change your mind, you know. I'm doing it. Amy, I'll say it was me. Why you do that? In a heartbeat. I grabbed him, I brought him to you, and you insisted that I would take him home. I have to do it, Mum. I know I've messed up a lot. Well, having you back has meant everything. And all those years without you. And now I have to do it again. But if it means you get to be with him, then it's worth it. I wish I didn't have to do this, you know. Me too. I love you. Do you? I will not forget you did this. I won't forget you coming through for me. I love you too. I love you so much, it hurts. Tell everyone I'm sorry. Tell Andy not to hate us. I'll see you, Mum. Bye. Be happy. Be lucky.
We ain't gonna get anywhere with the traffic like this. No, I couldn't live without one, am I? Yeah, neither could I. If I pulled anything, I'd be up on the roof dressed as Batman before he could blink. I just wish you could have told me what she was doing. If we'd have... Will you just shut up or I'm pulling over? Yeah, Roger that. Can you confirm what the child was wearing? Over. Oh, I feel weird. I feel like I'm gonna... You want to go? Meet the paramedics at the ferry terminal. Over. Oh, we've got a bit of a wait. Sit tight, though. We'll be there soon, OK? Uh, 